some people were comparing it to past hurricanes that were in the state of 20 as well. What the rules and regulations are right now for building, the building codes, but also their ability to know yeah. how to handle this is extraordinarily different. So this is an interesting point. I want to, Randy, go to the roof line there on one of these houses. One of the, this is Naples, and we're gonna, it's, it's a very, um, it's an upscale area. So the construction here is, is uh, very high quality. What used to happen is uh, wind would get up under those shingles and rip the roofs off. And they, they, they developed technology which said, that just build a screw that actually tightens as the wind, a nail that tightens as the wind blows up. So you will see that on these more expensive properties, you won't see the roof come up. And it's something that happened after Katrina in the Gulf where they said, that's just one basic code that you've got to do. You have to have space underneath your property and you have to have the kind of uh, nails on shingles that mean the more wind that forces that stuff up, the, the, the nail actually keeps the shingle in place as opposed to lifting the shingle off. So it's, sometimes it's just a bunch of little things that mean that tomorrow morning these structures will still stay standing, but there are going to be structures in Florida that are going to be flattened by the kind of force of wind and rain that we're seeing coming up here. There's still going to be a lot of damage, but a lot of these places will survive because of it increases in technology and advances in building code. And it's also pointing to the economic disparity. If you live in a place that's older, if you live in, in, a, yes. in a mobile home, those are the kinds of situations where uh, the that's safety right. just does not exist. Uh, amazing reporting as always, Ellie Belchie. Thank you so much for being out there. You guys take care of yourselves. We're going to have much more to come on Hurricane Ian's impact. Right now, you're seeing live pictures of rain and dark skies literally all across Florida. But first, this stark warning from a retired Lieutenant Army General who led the Hurricane Katrina response. They have procedures in Florida to protect their people uh, as best they can from a storm this magnitude. But I think, George, this will set a new bar, uh, uh, something they have not seen or America has not seen before, that this storm come in the way it's predicted. 